Damn. Damn. Hey YouTube, this is Charlie. What's up, guys? Um, this is my driving vlog. Somebody commented um, a few weeks ago and said, "Hey, dude, you used to make those driving vlogs. What's up with it?" Um, to be honest, the only reason that I stopped doing it was because when I switched from my from a Note Seven to the iPhone Seven, for whatever reason, you know, I wanted to take, you know, just to play around with my iPhone or a new phone. Um, when we lost the Note Seven, we went to the iPhone. I tried making a couple of the vlogs that I made with, with the iPhone and the quality of the back camera just wasn't good. I just didn't like the way that, you know, when you take when you make a video with the back camera, um, it just wasn't up to par, you know. Um, the stabilization wasn't that good. The lighting and sucks on it. So it gave you a really bad video. So I just, most of the videos that I had, I had uploaded on YouTube, I delete them. Because I, when I look back at the quality, I didn't like the quality of it. Um, my other videos that I used to make, um, when, especially when I'm driving, quick videos, I make it, I edit it right there on the on the phone itself. Um, I used to use my Note 5 or my Samsung Edge, my Edge, yeah. But so I rather I rather make videos with the Samsung products because they have a better camera, they have a better back facing camera, the quality is better, they allow more light to come in. Especially if you pass on a, on, on a dark tunnel, um, it will just absorb some of the lights on there. And another thing I love about it was I could pause it. So like right now if I'm driving, I'm making a video with, with, my, with my, my note and something coming up, which is a distraction, I can just pause it and continue from there. It's so, easy, it's so much easy to edit. So that's one of the reasons. Uh, so the iPhone, the, the, the back camera video sucks on it. Even, even the pictures on it sucks. But that's a story by itself but samsung to the rescue again the s8 is coming out so we got well, I'm, I'm psyched about it you know i'm really really psyched about it am i gonna get it i'm leaning towards 80 85 percent sure i'm gonna get it to be honest um i was gonna hold out for the note 8 but we don't know when that's gonna happen probably me probably, probably down in, in um after summer most likely Samsung is going to re-release the Note 7 as a refurbished product with a smaller battery. Um, they, they, they pretty basically they have given the go ahead to do it. The only problem that we don't know is it's going to be a lot cheaper. They say because it's a refurbished phone or a replacement phone of some sort. Um, they're going to change the battery, make it smaller, and we don't know if it's going to be released in the U.S. So we have to wait and see if they do release the international version and the price is good and the battery is not too small i might get one of those too if you know it depends but i but i heard that samsung is going to come out with two new products before the year end so let's see how true that is uh we know that they, I, i've talked about it before i know that they're working on um the, the bendable foldable phone they have been working on that for quite a while a, a few years ago they did in one in one of their in one of their shows they did show show off one of the one of the bendable phones so i hope the stabilization that is working is working good because i have a lot of shaking while i'm driving i just my um my camera holder is not it it's not stable enough to hold it hold the phone and, and and the iphone is a heavy phone and i have it also have it in a in a battery case so that's making make it heavier so it's hard to stay there i need a, i need a better stand if i'm going to use a heavy phone up there but other than that, yeah, it's cool, man. So today is Friday, man. Um, I'm in Houston, Texas. I'm on Highway 59 right now, heading north. I'm gonna head home right now, park, get out of town. Gonna head, um, gonna head towards San Antonio area for the weekend. Me and the family, we're just gonna chill out, you know. No plans. We're just gonna go. That's it. Um, beautiful weather so far. There's bad weather coming in, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so it's it's 80 degrees right now uh, yesterday the past couple of days the the humidity have been really good which is what that really make Texas weather kind of weird we have really high humidity but it's been good in the past few days um, everybody's getting better all, all that hay fever all that kind of crap is 
it's, the rain washes away so a lot of people feeling better so it's all good so guys like and subscribe charlie man i'll see you guys later i might make a, a couple more vlogs during this weekend because i'll be on the road so i'll just i'll just vlog it up we'll just vlog it up dude